Ladies and gentlemen, it's a battle out there. Odoo versus WooCommerce. Which one are you using? Which one should you be using? What does it cost and what do they offer? Let's check out all of those answers right now. So whether you're starting a new business or you're looking to upgrade your existing e-commerce setup, choosing the right platform really is crucial because you're going to be using this platform for a long time and you need to let it work for you and not the other way around. So let's have a look at what Odoo actually offers. So Odoo is an all-in-one business management software that includes a suite of applications for various business needs. Some of the standout features of Odoo is the integrated applications. Now, if you have more than one need, of course, Odoo is going to be a perfect fit. You also have fantastic customization. It is a user-friendly interface. If you've watched a few of our videos, you'll know that that is important to us. And you also have multi-channel selling, which basically means that Ado allows you to sell across multiple channels, including online, in-store, and through various other marketplaces. It also got very, very cool reporting and analytics. So it's got like advanced reporting tools. It can help you analyze your business's performance, and you can then make data-driven decisions rather than just sort of guessing in the dark. WooCommerce also has fantastic features. It is a popular e-commerce plugin for WordPress. In actual fact, it's designed to turn your website into a fully functioning online store. Some of the key features that you get with WooCommerce features is the WordPress integration. So as a plugin for WordPress, WooCommerce leverages the power of one of the most popular content management systems. It also has extensive plugin library. So WooCommerce has a vast library of plugins, themes, and a whole bunch more that allows you to extensively customize your functionality within your online store. You also have a flexible payment option. It supports a wide range of payment gateways. This is fantastic if you have international customers and they all paying from different regions, it'll give them a lot more options. It also is very SEO friendly. So WooCommerce is actually built on WordPress. So it's known for its very, very strong SEO capabilities and it can help your store rank better in search engines. It's also got a great community support with a large user base and this will benefit you with support, tutorials and tons of resources. Now, a quick overview of some of the disadvantages of Odoo as well as WooCommerce. Odoo is quite complex. The extensive features can be overwhelming in the beginning, so it's a bit of a steep learning curve. The cost for Odoo, it can be a little bit more expensive than other solutions. You also have limited themes, and then there are some support issues that have been reported in the past. WooCommerce also has a few disadvantages. It is dependent on WordPress. You can see that as a disadvantage. If you're not familiar with WordPress, it might be a little bit difficult to use. There have been some performance issues in the past, as well as security concerns. And then there are some additional costs with the um, some of the plugins or some of the premium themes and the hosting services that might not be as transparent in the beginning. Personally, having a look at these two platforms, after exploring both of them, Odoo and WooCommerce both have awesome strengths. I do, however, lean towards WooCommerce because I have used WordPress before and for me it's easy to sort of navigate around. I feel like it has a little bit more customization options and it's kind of more of an all-in-one tool. At the end of the day, your choice will depend on your specific business needs and how you feel while using the actual software. Now, if you'd like to learn more about online sales platforms, you can go ahead and explore our channel. We've got tons of awesome content to cover all of those topics. We'll see you over there. Peace out.